and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Oh yes, it's been a while, well a week, but we are back with you with your roundup of showbiz gossip, fun from the World Wide Web, and even that old favourite, a life lesson. But before we even get to that, let's speak to the man who flashes back at speed cameras. It's Mike. I thought I'd do it once every time I get caught speeding. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that. You get repetitive strain injury on your Johnson. No. You have to whoosh, 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 that fast. No, to no, get no it caught. you flash like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so once I've taken my photo, I go back and go again. I don't, I don't do it as I'm driving. Oh, no, like windmilling. The wind, in the, wind, <laughs> the window. Wind, while I'm driving. Yeah. Okay, never get in a car with me, people. <laughs> I've been scouring the internet like an old chip pan, getting rid of the old grease and seeing a reflection in the gleaming bottom to find things like a new beard craze. Oh. And I have some hot showbiz news, including the return of Sex and the City. Ooh. And while you can while away the wee hours, or the big ones, by keeping up with our social media, just search for The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast, have a search for Chewing The Cud on your favourite podcast app. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name bobbing along the screen right now. I've been learning a new skill this weekly. Mm, dare I ask? It's a skill that will help me a lot. What is it? It was a popular dance in the 90s, and I'm doing it right now. That's just vague, it's not vogue. Let's just go with, let's just play. Game of the Week. The producer is a bit down in the dumps today, as he was just fired from his evening job as a pizza delivery boy. Customers complained that he seldom managed to come within 30 minutes. He kept promising them 12 inches, but only delivered nine. They liked his topping, but not what he did with his saucy balls, and his meat feast with extra sausage was difficult to swallow. So while he is off doing that, he has asked us to play straight acting. This is one for Mike to pootle off to our special booth. Off you go, off you go, shoo, 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 go, 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 The rules are simple. A random word generator has been spewing out scenes. All Mike has to do is help me guess what they are. Right, let's get the first one doing then. Don't speak. Stop right now, thank you very much. Is your safe words? We're all going on a summer holiday. Barcelona. Oh. Is it that you can only say so word lines from songs? Yes, I can only speak in song oh. lyrics. Oh. That went well. Oh, you little green lovely leafness. You make me fart if I eat too much of you at Christmas. I love you so much that you remind me of the nickname that Prince Philip has for the Queen. Russell Sprout? No. <laughs> Bigger How well known. Um, cabbage. Yes, but what, why, what am I doing with the cabbage? Oh, I love you so much. You're, 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 you're bigging it up. You're complimenting a cabbage. <laughs> I'm in love with a cabbage. You're in love with yeah. a cabbage. It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next one. Okay. Okay. Hello, it's me. I'm only Ickle. And, and I'm going to be big and strong when I get to be four in a little while. And then my mummy is, is, is very, very old. She's like 28. Don't and, ever and... do that <laughs> again, ever. Are you being a child? Specifically. A specific child? Specific age. You're four. A four-year-old child? No, I'm going to be four soon. Three-year-old child? Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I think I'm a three-year-old child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Are you, have you got a ball gag in? Oh, could be. <laughs> 
<laughs> is it something to do with sex? Mm -hmm. It is. Are you in a rubber suit? Are you in a full gimp suit? Full gimp suit, yes! <laughs> I've been doing this show way too long. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm you. Okay. So, showbiz news, everybody. Bruce Forsyth was seen in a, in a famous um, chemist shop. Wait, wait. No, he's not dead. He can't be dead. Being a highly professional, entertaining showbiz reporter, clearly. Or something more, because it took some convincing. No, he's definitely not dead. Um, confused? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's dead. I'm sure I've seen him. Definitely I've seen him. Mistaken? Uh, I believe Bruce Forsyth was still alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not get that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this made of? Oh no, it's made of polyester. I can't wear it. I can't wear it. I need to get naked. I need to get naked. You want any given an evening of the week? <laughs> <laughs> it's making me itchy, itchy. You're allergic. Itchy. itchy. You're allergic to polyester. I'm allergic to synthetic fabric. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? How are you doing? I'm fine. What am I doing right now? You stood in a green room. And how am I speaking to you right now? A little bit patronising, but I'm not taking it to heart. <laughs> <laughs> but what am I not saying? The word hello. I'm sure I've said hello, haven't I? You're not saying... Have I answered any questions yet? Oh, you're just you're just talking in questions. I'm talking in questions. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it's easy for someone that works in a call centre. <laughs> That's all I ever do. Oh, okay. Hello, peasant. You're being royal. Yes. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Believe that it was right. That yeah. yeah. So this is me. Mm -hmm. Right, all the time. Mm-hmm. Not had it in over a year. Oh. So what am I? Baron of Womb. <laughs> no, I'm not Baron. I'm not Baron. <laughs> you, you are gagging for it. Yes, I'm gagging for it. I'm constantly horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm Lee and I've eaten a huge block of cheese. What am I? Gastrically, di gastrically distressed. Okay. But, oh no, I haven't eaten that, all that cheese, so I'm going to be fine. Oh no, but I'm all bunged up, I'm... Constipated? Yeah! <laughs> Doesn't happen often. <laughs> I'm fed up of you. Bored of you. Everyone loves you more than they love me. What am I? I mean, the truth. <laughs> no, delusional is the answer. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. Delusional or telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I, 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 I hate the way you, you can just wear whatever you want and it's fine. And, and, Jelly. And you've got a car that goes really, really quickly. That's a lie. <laughs> You're envious. I'm jealous of you. You're yeah, jealous, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, features. What the f am I not able to sh stop what I'm doing right f now? Are you my mum? <laughs> no, t waffle. <laughs> well, it definitely sounds like my mum. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I'm not, when I saw this, I thought like, you're a w. <laughs> I c can't f stop w. <laughs> um. Are you having a stroke? I'm, I'm not literally having a figure stroke. You're very flaps. angry and sweary. Sweary. Profanities. Bucking, but shitting fucking. I want to stop swearing. You've got Tourette. Tourette. I just want to stop swearing. Oh, okay. Uh, yo, all right. <laughs> yeah. Shall we, shall we see what, what's the, what the scores on the doors are? 
everybody's lost and it's the end of the world. Oh, well done. Yeah. Well, don't worry, it's not long until we bring you another special life lesson. But before that, it's Lee with the showbiz news. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we speak to the man whose first aid kit contains unicorn plasters and nose hair trimmers. It's Lee with the showbiz news. And both I use on my taint. Oh, okay. Is that just in case you go too deep with the nose hair clippers? You've got to keep it tight and trim down there. <laughs> you do indeed. Let's do some showbiz news. Okay. Okay. So if I did, if I sang this theme tune to you, would you know? Oh. Yeah, can we get his tablets up, to, up please? This is really not well. Thank you. No idea. No idea. Sex in the City. Were you a Sex in the City fan? I was. What were you doing? The theme tune. Da, 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 da. Yeah, when she, yeah, the beginning, then she's walking down the street. <laughs> and then she's looking at the side of the bus. She is. Uh, she is, in the, but the tune was different. No, that's the same. I think you'll find it is, but we're not going to debate it. it. It is. Anyway, so after many, 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 many years... Uh-huh. And two movies. And two movies. Mm -hmm. And lots of argument between the cast, mm -hmm. I in, as in the three with Samantha, or Catrell. 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 That Catrell woman. That witch. <laughs> so, um, they have announced that there is going to be a revised series of Sex and the City. Ooh. Minus Kim Cattrall. Wow. So this is the original lineup here. Mm -hmm. So we've got Cynthia Nixon, Kim Cattrall... Sarah Jessica Parker, the one with brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one that played Charlotte. Charlotte. What, yeah. what was she called in real life? Kirsten Davis. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, for years and years and years, they, they were going to make a, a third Sex and the City film. Mm -hmm. um, but Kim Cattrall was like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't actually okay. like you. I'm not doing it. So, there was this huge kind of, like, spat where Kim Cattrall was saying that they weren't very nice to me, mm -hmm. particularly Sarah Jessica Parker. Why would I want to go and do that? Um, Fair enough. And, you know, that's it. So they're going to bring back sex. Now, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Being the three instead of the four. Well, what I don't, I'm not sure I feel about it is the fact that it's, it's set now. It was very mm. of its time. Well, the, the, the kind of rejigging it. Mm. So it's about their lives now and how things have progressed since the last film. Okay. Yeah. Um, to meet current kind of, because it... It wasn't particularly very inclusive. No, show. it wasn't. So they're going to reflect that. Okay. Um, it's all about ladies in their fifties, because they are in their fifties now. Um, At least. <laughs> how they na navigating love and life and friendships in their fifties. Okay. Um, there is no sort of what Sarah Jessica Parker has said is that Kim Cattrall will always be part of the story, mm -hmm. just not this one. So what they're going to do is basically reference her off screen. I don't know. It's like, have you seen Samantha? Oh, she's doing really well. Great, move on. You see, I don't know how they can do that because in modern times, mm. you've got Zoom, you've got Skype, you've got WhatsApp. You can you can get in touch with somebody if you need to get in touch with somebody. Yeah, but I'm not going to watch a movie about two people having a Zoom call, am I? I think they should kill her off. They've tried it though, haven't they? How did they try? They tried to kill her off with cancer. Yeah, but that was part of the... She was never going to be killed off. It was just part of the storyline. So I think what they should do is kind of the opening scene should be them round um, a gravestone, putting some flowers down and going, oh, Samantha, the JJ finally fell off and she just didn't want to live. Um, oh, and then walk away and then she's never mentioned again. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be a limited series, which means they're only going to do, like... Eight, and that's it. The end of the last movie was very much a, this is the end of it all because they were all happy and they were all settled and the last movie was awful. It was, but it was it was there just to make money, wasn't it? But it was very much a this is the end, there is no more. I wanna know though. What you wanna know what they're like in their fifties? Yeah. With saggy bits and It's not my life. That's coming out at some point. This year or next year. I'm very excited about it. Very excited about okay, it. Okay. Yeah. Next bit of news. So We've all either binge-watched It's a Sin, 
mm-hmm. by now, mm-hmm. or we're doing the thing where we're watching it every week and we're not kind of going down that route of kind of watching it all at once. Okay. So there's been, over the past sort of like 18 months, there's been this big debate mm. about straight actors playing gay characters and gay characters playing straight actors, blah, 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 blah all this kind of stuff. So Russell T. Davis mm-hmm. has basically said, he's kind of come into the, the, the discussion and he feels that if he's writing a story about gay characters, then the actors should be gay. Okay. Um, he kind of like said, you know, it's, he's not being woke about it. He's not kind of like being, you know, mm-hmm. on trend. He's just kind of like saying, they should, we shouldn't have an straight actor that's acting gay. Mm-hmm. They should be gay. Okay. Okay. Now, lots of people have kind of said, no, no. Shouldn't it be, if you're an actor, Mm -hmm. you are there to play a part. Okay. So it doesn't really matter whether you're gay or straight, as long as you Mm -hmm. can play that part the best way it can. Other people say, well, no, that's not fair, because a lot of gay actors get overlooked for parts. Mm -hmm. Um, But then I kind of, I'm like, "Mm, you've got lots, you've got some very successful gay actors who play predominantly straight parts. Mm -hmm. So you've got Luke Evans, who plays lots of straight characters mm-hmm. in his films. You've got, um, who's the one with the ears that stick out like that? That actor. You mean Not um, Zachary Quinto? No, well, Zachary Quinto, yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. Now, the British one that was in... Um, Russell Tovey. Russell Tovey, Russell yes. Tovey. Yeah. Um, woo, he has played gay characters and, and he's played straight yeah. characters. I can't... Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, he's... He, he was very famous for playing um, Barney in How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, he was, was a womaniser. Womanizer. Yeah, he Woman- played that very well. Woman- yeah. The three characters in Queer as Folk mm-hmm. were gay, but all played by straight actors yeah. at the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure whether I kind of agree with it. See, I, I understand that as gay, gay actors get less opportunity and therefore should be prioritised and given that... I want to say the words positive discrimination that if you're going up for a gay part and you're being overlooked for all of these other straight parts, they either say, right, you're going to get... Everybody gets a, a fair crack of the whip regardless of sexuality, which is the ideal. Mm. Or they say, you know what, a gay person going for a gay part, you got it before the straight person did. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he says you wouldn't cast somebody able-bodied and then put them in a wheelchair to play well, someone who's not. Great. Yeah, again, they do... You know, they it's, it's... I, I see what he's saying and about mm. having that thing, but if the actor's good enough, they can play any sexuality because sexuality is not a whole identity. Mm. It's part of. I'm, I'm, I kind of think, you know, go for the audition. Mm-hmm. If you're the best person that can play that part, then, you know, sympathetically, properly, not caricature mm-hmm. yeah. we've, we've had lots of films, haven't we, that have come out with straight actors that have been playing gay parts over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um, Brokeback Mountain was beautifully done. Mm. So, yeah, I think... Mm. Anyway, let's move on to something a little bit more light-hearted. OK. So, we we know about... We've spoken on the show before about Gwyneth Paltrow's um, vagina-scented candle. Oh. So, um... <laughs> when will so, we get away from <laughs> Never. Smelling candles. Never. So, she has this candle uh, from her from her company called Goop, which smells from of... Where? It's called Goop. Her, her company... Gooch. No. <laughs> her company called Gooch. No. Well, that's a good thing no. to call you, vagina smelling candle. Her, her, can, her company's called Goop. Okay. And so, the candle is mm-hmm. called... It's called This Smells Like My Vagina... It retails at £69. I don't know whether that is a joke. (laughs) 69 quid on the website. A lady in South London. South London. South London. London. She bought one of these candles. Mm -hmm. She she bought one of Gwyneth Paltrow's vag candles. Okay. Okay. She lit it Mm -hmm. and it exploded. (laughs) Doesn't look happy there, does she? It literally set a flame. So well, she, candles are supposed to do that. Yeah, but not, not, <laughs> not an inferno in your house. She said, the candle exploded and emitted huge flames with bits flying everywhere. I don't know what kind of bits would be coming out of a vagina candle. Um, I can have a guess. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. The whole thing was ablaze. It was too hot to touch. Um, she's a media consultant. She was barely able to get the flames under control. Um, but did it smell like Gwyneth Paltrow's fuff? On fire. Yeah. 
I don't, yeah, really she, she, it was scary at the time, but funny looking back that Gwyneth's vagina candle exploded in my living room. The candle is described as having a sexy and beautifully unexpected scent. Um, it comes uh, it, The smell of your flat belly, Dad, is not an unexpected <laughs> scent. Because it, it just adds to the aroma. Yeah. It's got geranium, citrusy bergamot, cedar, juxtaposed with damask rose and amber seed, and your vag. Okay. So I thought, well, it... <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow has a very fragrant vagina. She does, doesn't she? She contains the parts of that make Earl Grey tea. Do you think, like, people are sat at home and she's, like, gone out to work for the day mm. and then they just kind of sat there and then they suddenly smell that aroma and go, oh, Gwyneth's home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can do that kind of stuff here on, on Chewing the Good. We have our own range of candles on our merch. We do. We do. Don't buy them. Please buy them because they do. So, so Mike, mm. he, here is yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Mine smells like teen spirit. Well, it, it, it says on the front what your smells of. So your smells, Mike, mm -hmm. of your Rainbow Bridge, which is your your name for your taint. No, the Smelly Bridge is what I call it. Oh, the Smelly Bridge. The Smelly Bridge, yeah. Uh, Rainbow Bridge sounds nicer, though. Mine... It does, yeah. Mine smells of my chocolate starfish. Oh. Shall we, shall we light them? I don't want to smell it. You don't want to smell your own? I don't, no, I don't want to smell your chocolate starfish. Well, go on our website. They're available never. Thank you, Lee. So we have our life lesson. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who's getting older. His body is changing. He's not apologising for it, but we wish he would. It's Mike in the buzz. Well, what's wrong with my body changing? I'm going through changes. Not the change, because, you know, I'm not as old as you. Have you <laughs> I've been stutering... <laughs> I have been scootering around the internet trying to find some fun things to find. Um, I have some sad news okay. to start with, though, so I need you to, to brace yourself. OK. What, what are you looking for? I was there? looking for a tissue. You're looking for a tissue? You, it's not that I kind needed of to news. dab my eyes. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I said sad news. OK. It's not that kind of show. Well, it is. Um, and this is the story about a bodybuilder who married a sex doll and broke it just before Christmas. I love this story. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the story of... A, Yuri Toloko from Kazakhstan, who married his fiancée Margot in November after a number of delays due to the pandemic. Um, so he was planned to, to wed his, his sex doll and, um, and spent many a happy day to, and night together to the point where he, he broke her. He ripped her in two. He ripped, ripped her in two. He f <laughs> her puss to pieces. <laughs> So yeah, so it's sad news that he's, he's, he's damaged his wife irreversibly. Um, he has sent her off to be repaired. Mm. And it's, look, it's looking good that she will be repaired and... Come back to him. Come back soon. Is it? Yeah. You know, I have a bit of a secret. I find him quite... He's it's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where I, I looked into how to make myself look... Like, <laughs> <laughs> Put a pink like, wig on. I'll, 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 so, like, find the parcel, yeah. get in the box, get rid of her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm now with warm flesh tones and slightly hairy chest. Uh, ignore the bit down there, it's added extra. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a little bit hot. He's a little bit hot, but he's also very crazy. Oh, very much <laughs> so. Um, not, not because he's, he's married a sex doll, but for all the other things he the, says. If you search um, for it on, online and look at the photographs, they are fantastic. Not the photographs of them having sex. <laughs> um, no, no. Um, no, look for the videos of that. <laughs> oh, like he's in the park and he's putting her on the swing yeah. and he's swinging her. They're very well done and it, it, his, his photography skills are very good. Yeah. Yes. Grasp on reality. Not so, not so good. Um, but I'll, I'll leave those two lovebirds at it. Okay. But we're not going to leave Europe. Are we not? We're not. Stay in where we're staying we're in Europe. We're going to stay with Europe for a little okay. bit. Okay. Um, and this is about some pilots who have been told, told off for being a little bit naughty. Oh. Now, we've covered off pilots before being naughty in, in the cockpit. Is anybody flying at the moment? Some, some flights are still going out, like freight. Oh, yeah. Freight flights and essential travel and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, 
and of course the, the inoculations, can't say the word, their vaccines are coming over <laughs> on planes and things as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, well, two parts have been in trouble for using the jet to draw penis in the sky in support of a masturbating footballer. So if you look at Skyscanner, you can actually track the, their flights and they've drawn two big um, testicles and and the, the shaft. The shaft. The shaft. Slightly disappointed that they've kind of not done a little bit spurt at the end, like you get in the what, toilets. If you've got the time, draw the dotted line. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to be quite hard to draw a dotted line in an aeroplane. Could you not turn the engine on, turn it on again, turn it on again, turn it on again? So it goes... No, it's not, tr it's not tracking the engine, it's tracking the plane movement. Oh! <laughs> so it's not like the, uh, it's not like the stream coming out of the back. Oh, oh, I'm not, not interested now. Trails. Boring. They've, they've dropped. They've flown it. Oh. And then, as you look at like the, the path that the plane has taken, it's drawn a penis. Right. I love the way that's what you've, you've zoomed in on. Not the fact it's a in support of a masturbating football. Well, you know, we're, we're going to get to that, aren't we? <laughs> why, what, what's going on with the why? Is it when he's playing football? Um, not while he's playing football. So it's basically he's he's enjoyed his own self. Shall we say? As we all do. As we all do. Footballer Archili Master Hunger. No way. Archili Master Hunger. <laughs> M-A-T-S-H-U-N-G-A. I like, I like Master Hunger. <laughs> yeah, Master Hunger. Um, was, was playing in Zambia. Yeah. And was masturbating in a shop in full view of people. Okay. Yes. Like in the window. Like, like you'd see in, in, in the, the Netherlands. Okay. But he's a footballer. Okay. Bopping one out. So oh. I got arrested. Well, justifiably, really. Well, yeah, but... Yeah. Um, Did he wipe the window down afterwards? <laughs> he wiped the window down. He was arrested. Yeah, but... Yeah. No, mid... Mid. Mid. Mid stroke. It wasn't like... It's like the policeman went, you take your time, mate. <laughs> just, just... <laughs> we've got tea in about half an hour, so if he could oh. hurry up. So the pilots were like, well, this is a travesty. It's travesty, a travesty of justice. All he was doing was oh. enjoying his own company. In public view. In, pu in public view, but still. Yeah, let's draw a big cock in the sky. Yeah, why not? Why not? <sighs> wow. Yeah, um, but he plays um, for Division One for the Gomes Football Club. No idea. No idea. Do you not, do you not no. follow the Gomes Football? No. Oh, OK. No. Um, the lockdown rules that, you know, change every 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, are you allowed to go out? Are you allowed to not go out? Can you... Touch your face? Can you touch someone else's face? Can you touch them where they wee? Um, well, in in Canada, they've got much. They've had much stricter rules than we've had in the Have UK. Have they? Yeah, um, where you can't leave the house. They've got a, like a nine o'clock curfew. Nine o'clock at night. Nine o'clock at night. Everyone in. Oh. Well. Right. With the exception of people walking their dog. Fair enough. Okay. Um, which you know makes sense. But a woman has been fined after walking her husband on a lead and telling the police he was a dog. Taking your husband out on a lead and going, no, 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 he's not, he's not my husband, he's a dog. Was he dressed as a dog? No. Oh, OK. He was just on a lead. Naked? No. Just on a lead? Just on a lead, walking on his, two, on his hind legs. On his hind legs. So he yeah. wasn't on all fours? He wasn't on all fours, just had a lead on. I mean, if you're going to do that, then commit to that story. Fully, you know, furry up. Mm -hmm. Put the costume on. Lipstick? Stick one there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, dogs don't walk around with it hanging out. No, but, you know, that would add a little bit of authenticity <laughs> to it. Um, and you it's like, <laughs> is that a man in a suit? Oh, no, I can see his lipstick. <laughs> she must try harder, I feel. OK. Must try harder. Must try harder. I, I applaud. Well, she's, she's been Send... caught and fined. She's, oh, she's been fined. She's been, she's been what did her husband say? Woof. <laughs> She said that he said that was a bit rough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 So we're not advocating that people put harnesses and leashes on, you know, unless it's you know sexy time. Unless home. they want to. I yeah. have no issue but, with people um, doing it or not. It's but not just, don't go out and say, you know, don't break your grandma's on a leash, it's me dog. Don't no. break the lockdown rules is pretty don't much do it. That. No. Yeah, because you'll get in trouble and that's not fair on anybody. No. So yeah. And if you spot something you want us to see. And we don't mean that nasty rash, Jane from Ramsbottom. Seriously, go and see a doctor. Then bung us a message at the Could TV on all of your usual social media platforms. And that brings us to our story of the week. Ooh. Okay. Fashion trend trending. Fashion trending. Fashion trending. Sean Connery impression. Fashion trending. Um, so beards. Beards. Okay. We love a beard. 
Well, you do. I know, I love a bit, yeah. Um, during lockdown one, two, three, nine, whichever one we're on now, um, beards have, have grown and shrunk as as places have opened up to trim them. Okay. Yeah, so like if you think about the first lockdown, my beard got quite long. It did. And then places opened up and it went back to a neat trim. Mm. Almost as if you couldn't cut it yourself. Well, I couldn't because I tried. Did you not remember the features where it went a bit? Yeah. 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 Mm, failed. Um, well, a, a new a new fashion trend has come out with these big beards that people are growing. Yeah. And it's called the monkey tail beard. And so what we do is you, you trim one side of your face completely clean, mm. clean shaven. And then with the remaining beard, you do it in like a spiral around your face like it's a monkey's tail. Your, your, your face isn't telling me you're loving this idea, Lee. Why? Why not? Why would you not want a monkey's tail on your face? <sighs> um, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to have a leash put around my neck and dragged around the streets. I know you would, but we're also talking <laughs> about people with beards. <laughs> then have a, a monkey beard. Yeah, well... Um, Did it originate in America? Did, surprisingly. Soccer. We, we've got some more pictures here. Oh. Gentlemen with monkey beards, monkey tail beards. Um, so yeah, gentleman with a, a nice one, and then that's a very swirly one. Yeah. So you're not a fan of the monkey tail beard? No. No. It's not very flattering, is it? It's not very flattering. It's, it's a fun thing to do, though. Yeah. So like if I decided to trim my beard off, right, I'd have a bit of fun with trimming it off. Like I'd do like sideburns and a goatee and that sort of thing. I wouldn't just go mm, bored now. Dye it. Dye it different colours. You know, plaque it. Really it is different colours. It's ginger, brown and grey. <laughs> no, like funky colours, rainbow colours. Okay. You, you know, put some beads in it. You want some, you want some shit love, off. You want some love beads in my beard? Yeah, just, you know, go, go, you know, go a little bit more than a monkey beard. Monkey tail. Monkey tail. Okay. Well, that's the end of the buzz for this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I will never look into the sky again without imagining a giant plain penis in the sky. Stay with us because coming up we have our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we go to one of the few good things about lockdown. It's this week's life lesson. Life now this week, I, I thought we'd, we'd look after our, our fine feathered friends. Birds? Yes. Drag queens. Oh! Yes. No, of course birds. So as, as the weather starts to warm up, they're going to start being at it, and then little chicks will start appearing. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know what I mean by at it? Yeah. Birdie sexy time. Yeah. 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 So we need to keep them fed. We do. But of course squirrels, they love the nuts. They do. And they'll come in and steal the nuts while people aren't looking. They will. So we, we, we're going to make sure that we, we feed our, our fine feathered friends. Mm. Okay. And we're going to do it with a selection of things you'll probably have lying around the house. Probably. Probably. Or Possibly. might not. <laughs> or we we'll have to dip to the shops and buy. Yes. But still, it's still a thing. Yeah. I'm going to need some toilet rolls. Fresh from my lavatory. Mm. You don't have you don't have flavoured toilet roll, do you? Well, I don't have flavoured toilet roll because I don't eat it, but I don't have scented toilet roll. <laughs> but you know exactly what I mean when I say flavoured toilet roll. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you also need a jar of peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? This is crunchy. Oh. But you can use either. You can use either. You can use either. No, I don't like peanut butter. Do you not? No, don't like it. Um, so we have almond seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then cranberries. Are you eating the things for the birdies? Test them first. We test them for what? Don't like cranberries. Do you not? No. Not even the song zombie. Okay. You're also going to need some lard. I always have some lard. You always have some lard. I always have a bit of spare. Round. And a bit of string. Oh. A bit of string. A bit of string. A bit of string. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is open the peanut butter. I know you've already opened it and been nibbling at it. I haven't eaten any of it yet. It's right. fresh, virgin. Uh, 30, 30 peanut butter. And we're going to smother our rolls. What? It. 
Mm. We just smother our toilet rolls in peanut butter. How are we going to do that, Mike? With the spoon that you just used to shove it in your face. <laughs> okay. So I'll just yeah. It's exciting, isn't it? Well, this is a little bit messy, isn't it? It is. Is it? Is it? Does it have to be? You know. Very smooth. No, it can be as it can be rough and ready. Oh right, okay. Okay. Do so you get many birds in do you get many birds in your garden? I get quite a lot of birds. Do in you? My garden. Yeah, because I grow a lot of fruit and veg. And they like to fly in and eat my raspberries. And my, are you and my cherries. Oh. Do you do, have you ever done that um count how many birds come in your garden thing? No. 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 But okay. I have bird feeders, but I also have um, a squirrel nut pile. Squirrel nut pile? Mm -hmm. So that's where I put a little pile of nuts under a, a rock. Just for the squirrels? Just for the squirrels, so they'll not eat the bird's food. But, do they, but, but you see, squirrels don't care. They'll eat those nuts and then eat bird nuts. They, they do like to put nuts in their mouths. They do? Yeah. So you need to make sure you've got a good covering up of your, your nutty paste all over your roll. Does rem this kind of reminds me of my morning bowel movement. Really? Yeah. Because it's nutty and brown or because it smells like peanuts? All of the above. <laughs> I think, I think I'm pretty much... You think you're done? I think I've pretty much coated the entire toilet roll in peanut butter. In evil brown stuff. Are you allergic to peanut butter or you just no, don't like... No, I love peanuts. I just don't like peanut butter. Almond butter? Almond's fine. It's just peanut butter I don't like. Oh, what did it ever do to you, Mike? Nothing. What about just nut butter in general? I do like nut butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've written it on the toilet walls. Yeah. So once you've got a healthy coating all over your roll, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to roll it in, in some of the, or sprinkle some of these things over. Oh, okay. I'm going to do some almonds. So it looks a little bit like a, um, a bird for our rushing. Oh, um, and there's some pumpkin seeds. Are these is this all bird friendly stuff? These are all bird friendly and person friendly too. So I know. Eat, yeah. And if you get bored like I am of doing this, you can just roll it in as well. Oh, I like that. I like that idea of rolling it. Oh, rolling, 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 and some bird seeds. That's patting, not rolling. <laughs> I think it's covered, it's pretty much covered the entirety of yeah. it. And then what you do is once you've got it nicely covered, like that, and it looks very jubilant. Jubilant? I'm turning into Nigel Lawson here. Yeah, you are. Right. Once you've got a, a jubilant covering of, of deliciousness, um, you, you basically, you, you stick... Oh, Ooh, don't drop it. Oh, no. Butterfingers. You stick it through a branch. So you stick it on a branch. Oh. And the birdies can come along. And peck, 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 and then fly away. Oh, that is, that is, that is marvellous. That's brilliant, isn't it? it? Okay, but well, that's not all. There's more. There's so even more. What you need to do is take, un unsheath your lard. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop my uh, roll over there. And then you're going to force your piece of string into the lard. Okay. So we're, we're we're take that. it out of the cling. And take it out of the cling, Phil. Mm -hmm. The way you do that is you wrap the string around like that and just pull. I want you to go in and just give it a bit of a squeeze. Can't it. You can't undo cling film. Okay, I've done it. Okay. Then what do we do? So you wrap the string around it. Yeah. In a loop. Don't like the feeling of lard. Do you not? No. It's a bit sensual. <laughs> yeah, I'm very sensual. And then really tighten it so it go, cuts it. Really tight. Right, really okay. tight. Yeah. And then squeeze it together. So you get a fatty ball on a string. I need to get personal. You're not on a string. And then, like we did with the toilet roll, we cover it in nuts and seeds and things. 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 But you can be a little bit more aggressive with this, because the nuts and seeds will go into it. And embed themselves. I'm still, right, I'm still tight, right. You're still on a string, now squeeze it together. I have done. With your hands? Yeah. Okay. Boof, boof, douche, 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 You have douche. to get involved, Lee. You can't just tap it. You have to do it. No, look, it's back. working. I don't have to. I don't have to. 
And then you've got a lovely fat ball for them as well. Fat ball? Uh-huh. I shall, I shall. Yeah. Do you have to put them in the freezer or something to, to, to no. solid them up? No, because they're going outside and it's not exactly warm at the minute, is it? No. I, th- I think I'm going to put them... I'm going to hang them uh-huh. on the trees in the courtyard of this very mill that we are, we are filming in. Didn't, I don't really want us to get evicted. Why? Huh? If we go out and hang fatty balls from trees, I think they might have problems. Remember last time what happened? <laughs> but that was summer, Mike. Yeah. And everyone got hot. And I didn't yeah. hear you complaining. No, because my fatty balls are out there. So are we almost there? I think I am done, Mike. I think, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's how you can attract yourself some birds. Ball now, how do I attract some balls? <laughs> if you want to attract some, would you like to attract some TV presenters? Yes. You would. I thought you might. Because you can also do the same sort of thing with this. So you can hang a lovely little chocolate Swiss roll on a piece of string on a tree and watch what will happen. See? Ooh. Mesmerized. Yeah. A pretty, pretty, pretty... So, yeah. Oh, come on, no, 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 fly away. Eat, eat it. Um, hold, hold it and eat it. Nim, 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 Take a bite. Nim, nim, nim. Bite. Take a bite. Take a bite, Mike. It's not show that kind the, of show. Show the people at home <laughs> how they can take a bite. Come on, Mike. <laughs> take a bite. Take a bite. Oh! Jaws of steel. Go on. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a turd on a string. Mm. <laughs> now bite the end off it. It's not that easy. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? <laughs> oh. Mm, but I'll always find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Mm. So if you find two camp homosexuals hanging from the trees in the garden tomorrow morning, <laughs> don't worry. It's not a lynching. <laughs> <laughs> We're just after your chocolate rolls. Mm. That's a life lesson for this week. Brilliant. Um, I'm, so I was very tempted to sort of like dip. I can see what you're doing. <laughs> and I have to say things, so mm. I'm going to put it down and wait till the end. Okay. We have come to the end of the show for now. But if you can't hold out for a week, you can always find us on the internet. Just search for The Could TV on social media, The TV for our website. And while you are on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. Like an unwelcome fart in a slow elevator, we just had time to bring you... <laughs> I'm laughing because that happens to me all the time. Um, we just had time to bring you our fruit of the week. Drum roll, please. Stay safe, everyone, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Can't do that in the nuts.